We are presenting about a, a, a paper where we sequenced a hundred uh, children with intellectual disability together with their parents in order to compare the variants of the children with those of the parents and our goal is to identify the genetic reasons for the sequence of the children. The outcome of our study was that we could find a genetic reason for the intellectual disability in 30% of the children, which means that in 60% or so we could not find a solution yet, but uh, having clarified these 30% of cases is a great step uh, towards maybe later on therapeutics or therapeutic invention. The major challenge during this study is that everybody has hundreds of uh, variants and, uh, uh, and we need to identify the one or two variants that are responsible for the disease and discriminate them from all the rest of the variants which had no effect in this case. We use this CLC workbench especially because it helps us to, to find variants very fast, to, to align our data, call the variants, interpret the variants, and this is a wonderful platform to do that without having knowledge in scripting or uh, anything, or um, using command line uh, commandos, so it's a very convenient tool for us. First we need a unified way to interpret a, a variant and when we have that we need a unified platform where all people can share their variants and get into a discussion whether this variant is uh, uh, um, associated with the same type of disease and if it's not maybe we are on the wrong track. QCI could be a platform for sharing variants because we have, at first we have uh, we can apply certain criteria to to annotate a variant and to add information to that and after that we can share it with with other researchers and uh, I, I hope that in the future other researchers who come up with the same variant in the same kind of condition will help us uh, to define its causative role. Kyogen. Sample to Insight.